What is up guys and welcome back to video number 20 and in this video I want to give a shout out to YouTube user BeermanTM to not give up on PHP and stick with it and soon enough you will be the man. So in this video I want to work on our navigation but we don't have any navigation or page information in our database. So let's go ahead and go back to PHP my admin and let's go down and click on PHP my admin let's go ahead and create some SQL okay so remember the table that we created called pages where's our database sterling our our table right here okay so I want to go ahead and insert some information into here and I'm gonna go up here to insert and what do I want to do okay so let's go ahead and work with the fields that we created so leave ID alone because we set it to auto increment our information ID I want to set this to 1 our menu, what should we call this? I'll just call this about, about, about village park. Position, one. Do I want this to be visible? Yes, I do, because one is yes and zero is no. And for content, you can go ahead and write anything you want, but if you want it to make sense, or I want it to make sense, I'm just going to type, I don't know, this is the his story of village park but don't click go right here what we're gonna do is scroll down a little bit and see where it says insert as new row that's what we want to do so click on insert as new row and go back to previous page I think do we want to what are we dealing with insert row into another row no go back to previous page now to browse to see what we just created and yes Here's what we just created, and again, this looks very much like a Microsoft Excel, Microsoft spreadsheet, Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Sorry, I've, uh, I don't know, just kind of out of it right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and create more information into our pages. So I'm going to click on Insert, and again, don't touch ID because we set it to auto increment. Anything we type in here is going to override that. So let's give this the information ID of one as well because I want there to be a relationship between this information and the information we just created. So we'll call this menu, I don't know, mission statement. Position two, visible. Yep, and our content, I don't know, we could just, again, you can type anything you want doesn't even have to make sense. Our mission statement is if you practice PHP for, I don't know, one hour. I stand by this. A day for three months, you will be a PHP legend and could pretty much get a job in any city, major city in the world because there's such high demand for PHP. Okay, so hold on, I got a phone call. I was just on the phone for 25 minutes, but you guys have no idea because I can pause and play and edit this video, so it's awesome. Okay, so we just created our content for our mission statement, and all this information looks good. Okay, so scroll down to the bottom and insert as new row but I don't want to go back to the previous page I want to insert another new row now I'm gonna click go okay so all our SQ ran, SQL ran properly up there why wouldn't it we have PHP my admin it's not really gonna let us make mistakes so again we'll set the auto increment to one or the ID to nothing I'm so out of it right now don't do anything here again just Keep doing what you've already been doing. And this information underscore ID is we'll set it to two because I don't want it to relate to the other data fields we just created. The menu for this is I'll call it wait, would we would we even name our second field? Videos. Okay. So I'll call this um new PHP video. How's that? Position? Well, this is one now because this is now a new menu. Do I want this to be visible? Yes, I do, because one equals yes, and I want this to show up so people can see it and understand. So the content, this will be content, no. New PHP video will 
help you learn PHP better. Exclamation point. Yay. And then we'll just go back to go back to previous page. And we'll click go. Okay, let's look at our Perfect. Okay, so here is our mission statement, new video position. Okay, because the, uh, these have the same information ID of one, which is perfect. So they're going to be in the same. I don't know if we're going to do a drop down menu or something, but they're going to be on the same line. And then this is going to be a different, um, either it's going to be a menu probably to the right. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But this looks perfect. This looks absolutely perfect. Is there anything else I want to do? Okay, if. I mean, if you're getting the if you're if you're getting the hang of this, feel free to insert more rows of information. But don't worry if you're not getting the hang of this yet, because we're gonna keep going and we'll go slowly until we get it. So let's go ahead and click browse. We're already on browse. Here's our three rows of information, and uh, I guess that's pretty much it. Okay, so in the next video, we will add pages below our information. So good luck with this. And we'll see you guys in the next video.